Hello. Well, welcome back, all you guys that want to buy things with quarters. My goal is to buy a house with quarters. That's my goal. I want to just, I want to go to the bank and I want to hand the cashier a bag full of quarters and pay for my house. So, I was mentioning in the previous video that someone was telling me that if you have a hundred machines and you make a thousand dollars profit per month, it's not really worth it. And what I really didn't tell you in the video, in the last video, was the reason that I think this is a great business is because you can start a business that you own with about $100, maybe $150, $200. You can start with a very, very small amount of money. You don't need $10,000 or $100,000. I know some restaurants, you can't even start uh, a chain. like let's, You can't have a franchise with, I think it's Chick-fil-A, unless you have $500,000. Who's going to come up with that? I mean, if you have $500,000, wouldn't you rather go on a vacation? I have talked to many people that work in restaurants. I used to work in a restaurant. I've worked in many restaurants. And the profit margins are so low. If you make 10% profit, that's good. I was working at one of the most expensive steakhouses in Dallas. And their profit margin was like 3%. And they were happy about that. You know, my profits are 50%. I buy something for 10 and sell it for 20. You know, I, I'm happy with my profit margin. The thing is, you need a lot of vending machines. You need them all over the place. And sometimes they get stolen. I worked at Home Depot. And one of the first things they told us is a word that you're familiar with. It's called shrink. All you guys out there... When you're freezing cold, you know what that means. The word shrink means theft or breakage or damage. I mean, this place that I was working was Home Depot, and they talked about shrink or shrinkage. If you drop something on the floor, they don't make you pay for it. If you have someone cut a piece of lumber for you and it's the wrong size, they don't make you pay for it. Things get stolen at Home Depot. And this one location, just one location, they said they lose a million dollars of merchandise every year from shrinkage. So, when you own your little gumball machine business and someone steals your machine, which it will happen, well, just be prepared for it. Get yourself a few, get yourself a bunch, and look for the deals. Sometimes you can go to Craigslist and you can find deals on vending machines for $10 and $25 a piece. So, what I like about this business, I started with one machine. I was a waiter at a restaurant and I started with one machine. And as I said, I had it sitting in my apartment for over a year. And I kept looking at this thing. I would throw my jacket on it or whatever. And I looked at this thing every day for a year, and I said to myself, this thing, this thing, these things behind me, these are my little employees. And I said, this thing has to be out, and it has to go and make me some money. That's why I bought it. So in other words, I'm the god of this employee, and my decision is to make this thing go out and make me some money. And sure enough, after about a year of it sitting in my apartment, I got enough gumption and I went out and I started knocking on doors and I found a location. And as I said in a previous video, that little gumball machine made me about $80 every month gross. I'm not saying that it's gross that it made me that much money. Gross means that's how much money. When I opened up the thing, when I opened up the machine and I pulled out the drawer, the coin drawer, it had $80 inside. That was gross. That was the gross part of it. That that means that that's the amount of money you make before you spend any money to buy new products. Okay, so it's not net. Net is what you make after you um, use the money to pay for products. So the net is the profit. Okay, but the gross was $80, $80 a month. I just wanted to share with you a little bit about what happened today with me. I was at Walmart, 
one of the Walmarts here, shopping, minding my own business, and I have to be reminded, even myself, I have to remind myself, ABC, always be closing. Always look for locations. Always look for places to put your vending machines. And as I was walking in, I saw somebody with a shirt, and the name that the name where they worked was on their shirt. And I stopped the guy, and I said, excuse me, sir, can I talk to you? And he said, yeah, and he stopped, and he was pretty friendly. I said, I noticed the name on your shirt. It's an oil change place here in the Dallas, Texas area. And I've had vending machines in places just like that where you're working. And I was kind of curious, do you have a little gumball machine in your oil change place? And he said, no. He said, in fact, they used to have one. And it got ants inside the machine. And so we asked. he said, we asked the guy to get rid of the machine. And he did. So I had a feeling he would say no if I asked him if I could put a vending machine in his location. But I asked anyway, you know, give it a shot, see what happens. And he said, sure, bring it in. And uh, I asked him, what is the name of the city? What's the name of the street? And he gave the uh, ad address to me. And uh, the rest is history. I, I will place that vending machine in his location on Monday. So, as I said in a previous video, always be closing. Always look for that place. Always look for that place to put that vending machine. Keep your eyes open. If you're getting a haircut or you're getting an oil change or you're buying groceries at a mom-and-pop business, ask. Hey, this is what I do for a living. I place little gumball machines like this. And even if you see one in that location, ask. Maybe they want more variety, you know. And maybe they don't care that there's three machines stuck in their lobby, you know. So this is how you make money, guys. Ask. Don't be shy. Get out there and ask the questions. Can I put a vending machine in your space, in your place, in your store? I work with this charity, and you'd be helping a charity. And uh, that's my advice for the day. I hope you all enjoy these videos. Give me a thumbs up. And as I've said in all my other videos, or almost all my other videos, I love the feedback, guys. Thank you. And ladies, thank you. And uh, why don't you stump the chump, as they say. There's a, there's a radio show I like to listen to. It's called, uh, it's, a TV, it's a radio show. Um, but one of, their, one, of their, um, one of the segments on that show is called Stump the Chump. And they try to stump the hosts, the call-in people call in and try to stump the host. So... In your comments, try to stump the chump, okay? All right, I'll be the chump for the day. Uh, give me some questions so I know what to talk about in the next videos. Uh, I'm trying to make a video every day. Uh, I haven't made any videos in a while because I've been on a trip helping my, um, my friends move up to Virginia. So that was a long drive towards the east, east of Dallas, Texas, east and northward. Uh, we went to uh, the beach, and it was beautiful up there. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos and hope you enjoy the season. The holiday season is upon us, and uh, Thanksgiving is coming up, Halloween and Christmas and the New Year's. So enjoy those holidays, and we will let you go. We will talk to you later. I will talk to you later. I will talk to you later, and you will listen to me later. Anyway, have a good evening.